What's up guys, it's Jeremy, Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Today we're gonna be talking about the Savage Pro LED 22 inch light table for product photography. <laughs> Um, I've actually already done an unboxing of this, but when I did my unboxing and to actually go to use it, there was uh, a huge crack in the, um, in the light table that I have myself, which wasn't causing it to work right. I didn't notice the crack until after the shoot. I was just having the hardest time getting this thing to work or to light up and found out the problem, called Savage and deleted the video, deleted everything. And now they sent me a brand new one to replace the one that I I bought and was broken and this comes directly from them. So uh, I have to say great customer service on their end for taking care of it. But we're gonna do an unboxing today of this and we'll do a future video on how we actually use it. Um, but this thing is awesome. Their promos say you can use it with an iPhone, a camera. And what it does is it becomes a light table below with LED lights up top. Um, I'll set it up and I'll go through some of my issues I already know I'm gonna have with this, which is kind of nice to know that in advance. And then um, go over so what I think they could do to, to make this product a little bit better for the future. Some things that I did bring up to them but aren't in uh, research and development yet. Stay tuned and uh, let's unbox this. Oh my God, guys, that was, that's a lot of stuff. Tons of plastic, tons of everything is in its individual piece. I forgot to show you guys that I was able to get a few little uh, mini soft boxes or little socks that go over the LED lights. So those are there as well. So everything's behind. All right, guys, as you can see, um, that probably took, I think the, the video itself was five minutes, it took me five minutes to set up. I didn't put the sock on, um, on any of the tables. So we have about five minutes onto there and um, it looks pretty cool, right? I love this. Um, I think it's awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the operation of it, how it works, and then we'll go from there. If you guys are watching that video closely, I, it was upside down. For some reason, the top, is like a matted glass around here. Sorry for the shaky. 
it's like a matted glass around here and the underneath is not so i thought the underneath the clear was the top um, but as i was turning it on it wasn't bright at all so kind of put that together turn this thing on uh, this is touch sensitive so we're going to hit this on button and it'll turn on and then once it's on uh, you hold it and it'll go up or it'll go down if it's already up it'll go up uh, down if it's already down it'll go up so i'm going to hold it and it'll start to get darker and i'll hold it again and it'll start to get brighter so i'm going to put it at max brightness for you guys and that's it that's the operation of turning the light table on and off the light table has to be plugged in at all times for it to work there is no battery so it's always on then you have these little light thingies <laughs> these led lights um, and savage has it so that you turn it on and it's on and it can control wherever now these are not dimmable so they are on and they are off and the only way to dim it is obviously to bring it further or closer to your subject so we can turn all four on here now that is awesome right tons of light we can get something in there to kind of show some stuff right here so let's have this uh this pumpkin there for you guys and you can kind of tell that if i move my lights around i can create some really epic shots using just led lights how cool is that so you can grab you can imagine grabbing just a shot with here i have a wide lens on it makes it a little harder but you can grab a shot of just this if you guys are doing any product reviews or anything like that you can leave it on just like that Sorry for the... And then as you change the light around, it creates some different effects. So we can just backlight if we wanted. And that's the goal of this. The beauty with shooting with um, constant lights is that you can control it and see what you're doing as you're doing it. I love this. This is awesome. So overall, this is a really good product. I think they've done some things very well. The light table is very, very, very bright. The LEDs are very, very bright when charged. Otherwise, here's a few things that I do not like about this. So when I was actually using this, I was shooting uh, some product photography for a marijuana company, and we were actually shooting some of their um, edibles. And we were shooting some edibles, and as I was using this, I was just adjusting and moving it. And as I was adjusting, you guys can kind of see now, these things start to move. And every time that you try to move, one of these lights, let's use one of these lights to light up something here. Every time you try to, to move one of these lights a little bit, this whole thing starts to move. It can come out, it can, it, it doesn't lock. The weird thing is, is when I called Savage about it when we first started, when th that was one of my issues, I actually thought I was missing some pieces. You guys will see right there, there's a little hole. That hole matches with this hole. So I asked them, a bunch of times and they basically told me no that's what I thought was there was supposed to be some sort of peg that I can put into here that would go into here to lock it into place which I, I has to be it I have no idea what these holes are for so there's a hole here and there's a hole on that side and the same thing my thought is that there's supposed to be a peg that goes into here that clips into here and so when I'm moving it there's a clip and a clip this thing doesn't move Otherwise, this thing's on there tight. So as you move it, as you're playing with it and you try to adjust, the whole thing starts to move and shake. And when you're doing product photography, um, when I do food, I cannot afford to let this thing move because sometimes I'll stack stuff right there. So if I move this a little bit, everything will fall. A huge, huge, huge issue may seem small, but I'm going to see if I can just get something small enough to push in through there to hold it into there that doesn't go into the table a piece of wood, a piece of something. I'm sure they make something like that, but a huge issue on that. The other thing that I do not like are these actual LED lights. So these things are cool. I mean, they're cool, but they're cheap. They are super plasticky. They only last for about 45 minutes before they start to dim. On that same shoot that I was doing, we were 45 minutes in, and all of a sudden I noticed my quality of light was starting to go bad, looked at it, and all of a sudden the lights were starting to die out. These things take a long time to charge. I think I was charging them for about eight, eight hours. I charged them overnight for eight hours. I woke up and they were charged. Um, I checked on them first, they weren't charged. Went, took a shower, came back and they were charged. So I slept for about seven hours and that's where my eight hour gauge is. And that was the first night I got it. 
but they don't uh, they they don't last long. Um, they do have an, a little uh, they do have a little chargey thingy here uh, that tells you as it's charging and when it's full, which is awesome. They turn on and off pretty easy. It's not dimmable. I think that Savage can upgrade this a little bit and maybe put a dimmable light. Um, but this is just a simple um, this is just a simple thread mount on here. So you can put theoretically any LED light that you want on there that would work better in your favor. Or you can even put flashes on there that would work in your favor and they would just stick right to this. I don't know how heavy this thing is. This thing is uh, sturdy. This thing is sturdy, man. I mean, this is probably like the most sturdy part of this thing. But other than that, the, the table's cool. The table's awesome. Um, I need to get better LED lights in order to actually do a commercial shoot with this. Some commercial shoots will take me two to three hours to do. We're placing food down, we're placing it around. Sometimes I just forget to turn them off. Uh, you can plug them in while they're on. And that is actually the other issue. I am not sure who's decided this in Savage um, because everything else seems very well thought except for this. Each one of these has a little hole that you charge your, that they charge. They give you four, <laughs> they give you four charging cables, um, which means that if, if I were to, and I tried to do this, if I were to try to shoot, the power was dying, I wanted to charge it in between. I had to then bring out a surge protector, something with multiple outlets to plug one, two, three, four, connected into this thing. And that was the biggest pain in the butt. Why not have one charging mechanism that has four cords that come out that charges all at once, or if you don't use them all, it charges one or two or whatever, something a little more simpler. Uh, I'm sure it would have saved them money, but really one, two, three, four, it's overkill, and each one does to one. So that was a huge issue. I mean, they could have even done longer cords, the same amount of cords, but, but um, now me having to carry four around to charge all four at once, I'd rather have just one that I can pop in. That's it, that's it. So there it is guys, the unboxing. I will do a video once I do an actual, another shoot with this. This thing has a special place in my office that I'm gonna do some, uh, whatever I can do, any type of reviews or product demos or anything, little shoots, little fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing that with this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have one of these already, how is it working for you? Uh, I've only seen a couple videos on, um, on YouTube with this thing. Uh, and a couple of how to use it, but nothing really in the mechanism or the design of it. Um, I love this idea. I think this is awesome. I am a big flash and strobe user. So actually going into constant light was a little scary for me, especially to try to shoot at high F stops. We get really good depth of field, dynamic range. So this, this is cool. I think it's just a cool product. I think it's awesome. Um, I like that the, the LED table can be a standalone table. So I can just use it for whatever, something super, super quick. But there's a couple of issues that, that worry me when I'm taking it out to shoots. Um, the last thing I forgot to mention, this is the flimsiest bag and the thinnest bag I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I feel like the edge of this table is gonna come into this, hit it, and then rip this thing apart right away. I would have liked an option, you know, I would have actually purchased an option for a bigger bag, a padded bag. I mean, this theoretically is, is glass on both sides um, or high grade plastic or something. Maybe it's plastic, um, but this, I'm not secure with this. So that freaks me out. And because anytime you have to carry it or transport it, basically you put it in here, there's a couple uh, drawstrings or one drawstring. So basically you're supposed to close it and carry it like this. And you know, even something with like a strap or something that I can like pick up and carry something a little tighter. Uh, I mean, this thing's not cheap. It's not expensive, but it's also an investment. So I, I don't want uh, to waste my uh, to waste my money by just breaking it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This Again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If this helped you out in any way, if you're going to snag this baby, let me know. Comment below. Give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.